In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this very, very quick look using the iconic multi-sculpting contour palette. It's a very simple little technique. I am in no way a professional makeup artist. I'm a 54 year old woman that doesn't have a lot of time to faff. I just want to be done and out the door. I'm sharing it coming up. So as this is more for fun than a tutorial, I've already done my skin prep. I'll talk about that in another video. I'm quite specific about my skincare. I think that's ultimately the most important thing. I've also used this product. This is something that I recommend to everybody. It's Ombre Lise. It's their Le Creme Concentrate. It is shea butter. It's got aloe vera in it. It's very, very moisturizing. If your skin is a little dehydrated, especially in the changing of the seasons, I recommend this as a base for your makeup. It's absolutely fabulous. So let's get into this palette. This palette is a fabulous one. There are six shades. Obviously you can see I use it quite a bit and I like to use it to contour my aging face. I'm 54 years old for reference and this is not a tutorial by any means, it's just what works for me. So first of all, I'm going in with this shade. This is the shade that I use really almost as a bronzer effect, so coming round. And a little tip, we've been, we've been taught to put our contour shade quite low down. I'm gonna put it higher up and that will give you the, or give me the appearance of raised cheekbones. That's it. Now it's kind of, you know, trying to get as even as possible, but that will do. And next I'm going to just run that just down the sides of my nose here and here. I'm just gonna look in the mirror while I'm doing this. A little bit just under, that just gives like a shadow as if you've got a bit of a fuller lip. And I'll sometimes run it along the my jawline to disguise the appearance of jowls. Now I'm going to use what I would say is more of a foundation shade. So, and I'm going to pop that in the middle of my forehead, down my nose, the rest of my cheek or mid face and my chin. And then for a little bit of concealer and highlighter, I'll use a lighter shade. And I do have a tiny little mark here, little bruise, from a skin booster that I had a few days ago. I'll talk about that at a later date. So now I'm just getting rid of any little shadowy bits here and here. That's it for the Iconic palette. Now I'm going to go ahead and blend that and I'm using um, a foundation brush and I'm going to blend it all in. No particular routine. This is not a tutorial, it's what works for me. So I'm just going to go into the hairline, first of all, and come down and I'm just going to really sweep that up. We want to give the impression of a lifted face and a lifted cheek and really lift it up into the hairline. And I'll come into the mid face, across the top of the lip. And I will go back if I need to with the concealer, but let's just get this blended first of all, nice and quickly, giving me a little bit of highlight and shadow and giving me a little bit of a lift. Now for the corners of my eyes, I like to be a little bit gentle. So I'm going to use my ring fingers here and just simply pat that in. Now it's not the best light and I have done it very quickly without setting up any lights. So I hope that you can see that. So that's my base layer done. Now I'm going to actually do a little bit of bronzer. I like the Chanel bronzer. It's easy, it's, it's not too dark. I wouldn't say that I would necessarily rush out to buy it again. I like the Chanel bronzer, but there are others out there that I'd probably prefer a little more. But off we go, so I'm just going now round to give myself a little bit of glow on this very gloomy November day. That's it for a bit of glow. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my cheeks. Now for my cheeks, I love the Iconic blush. I'm not sponsored by Iconic. I just love their makeup. I really do. I think it's good value 
and I really like these cream blushes. So it's more of a, it's a cream blush, but it's quite a liquid cream. This one is called Rose Riot. It's their sheer blush and the colours are sheer, but they're very buildable. So I'm going to give myself a cheeky smile and pat this sheer blush just along my apples of my cheeks all the way along. I'm going to do a very kind of like a, a very earthy, very natural eye. So I'm using a palette that I picked up, believe it or not, from Aldi. And I'm coming in with a very soft, quite a, a nice little chunky brush. And I'm starting at the high point of my eye, eye sort of right just on the brow bone. And I'm just going to sweep that. So I'm going to give myself the illusion of having more space because I have got hooded eyes, I'm 54. So I'm just giving myself the illusion of a little more space. If you find that your brush is dragging your skin, you can go ahead and just pat your brush across nice and high. So that's just one shade, very matte, no glitter involved when I'm off to work. Now I'm going to use a very light shade and that is going on the lid here. So this is what we call the movable lid and I'm just patting that and I'm going to use the same shade on my brow right under my brow hair. There we go. Very natural, very easy, and has given the illusion of lifting my eyes ever so slightly. Now I'm going to just do a, a tiny little lash line. The lash line is really there just to emphasize my lashes. So I'm going to use a liner brush and I'm gonna come in just here and just on the outside edge and maybe two thirds of the way in and then wing that out just a little bit. Tiny and subtle and that's it. Just a tiny little darker shade just on the lash line. And for under the eyes, I'm going to use the same colour and I'm just going to pop it just under just maybe a third of the way. For my brows, I'm going to literally just brush those up. I'm using the It Cosmetic Brow Pencil. It's like a duo, so it has the spoolie and then the pencil. I really like this actually because it's so creamy. It's so lovely just to brush through your brows, smudge through. I used uh, glycerin on my brows for six months and it definitely, and my eyelashes, and it definitely, definitely made a difference to how they grow. Um, if that's something that you'd be interested in, just let me know, I can do a video. So that looks obviously a little dark. So then I go ahead with the spoolie and brush that out. And I really like that that just gives a supernatural, not too hard brow. I'm using, again, Iconic. This is the Triple Threat Mascara. I love this mascara. I think it's absolutely fab. I love the actual brush. I think that that's why I like it. I feel like I'm in control and of course you can layer it up. So I'm just popping this on. There we go. So I really like this mascara. I think it's fabulous. So that's the Iconic Triple Threat. Done that. Now I'm going to do a little bit more blush and then my lips and then I'm out the door. Just to give myself a bit more blush because it's a horrible grey, miserable stormy day down here on the southeast coast. I'm using this one. This is a Beauty Pie cream blush and I'm going to use a little blusher brush and I'm patting that in to my high cheek. And I think it just gives the appearance or gives gives a nice little sun-kissed glow. I like to take it across my nose. There we go. This is a really nice colour. It's like a peachy. I like peachy colours on my skin. And I feel that this is a really lovely, lovely colour. So that's that. Now... Keeping with the peaches, I'm going to use this, unfortunately, this is a lip tint um, by Becca, which they no longer make. 
And if anybody knows where I can get Dragon Fruit Becca Lip Tint, let me know because I love it. Now, I'm not a makeup artist. I don't often line my lips. I do like to have kind of a diffused, almost smudged lip. That's the what, that's the look I like. Now, that's it. I am all set. This is my everyday makeup. So that's it. That is a very impromptu video done. I've finished my hair. I'm ready to go to work. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I highly recommend that little iconic multi-sculpting palette. This isn't a sponsored video. It's just sharing what I enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, perhaps give it a like and maybe think about subscribing. I'm 54 years old and I'm hoping to bring content to you that's relatable for women over 50 that want to look good, feel great with minimum effort. I will chat to you all very, very soon.